Gunmen who carried out Wednesday's uh, mass shooting at a bus stop in Burholm are still on the loose today. Investigators say they've gotten numerous tips and continue to urge anyone who knows anything about this to please step forward. Action News reporter Amy McCormick joining us now live at police headquarters with the latest on the search for the shooters still underway today. Annie. And Brian, since this mass shooting happened Wednesday afternoon, detectives have continued to make progress in this case today. They are still gathering evidence from one of the two vehicles that they did take into custody within the past 48 hours. Additionally, detectives are running down every lead that comes in. As I was running, I felt a burning sensation in my back, but I ignored it because of adrenaline. But as I stopped, I felt like I might have got shot. He was shot in the upper back, and the 16-year-old victim does not want to be identified. He is expected to physically recover. His 16-year-old friend was shot in the leg, and he is also recovering at home. That victim's relative gave 6ABC an update on his recovery. He said he's doing good. I'm just glad the Lord took care of him and didn't let him get, you know, get wounded real bad. The 18 shooting victims hit by the barrage of gunfire at the SEPTA bus stop all survived. But the intended target, who police say is a 16-year-old boy shot nine times, is in critical condition. All are Northeast High School students. A 17-year-old boy remains in the hospital shot in the leg. A 15-year-old boy shot in the arm and back is still in the hospital, and a 15-year-old boy hit in the back is home. Another 16-year-old boy and also a 16-year-old girl are in stable condition, according to police. In the meantime, police found two vehicles that they believe are connected connected to the shooters, including the getaway car captured on this surveillance video. Both were stolen. They are looking for three gunmen and a fourth person who was the driver. Police are working to see if the mass shooting is connected to Monday's deadly shooting of an Imhotep Tartar High School student, 17 year old Damon Taylor. He was shot while waiting at an Ogon Septa bus stop. Two other students were also injured and two adult bus passengers were injured in that shooting as well. And police say the only way for them to further this investigation is by receiving any information that the public may have. You can contact them at 215-686-TIPS. For now, reporting live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News.